throughout the workout. More importantly, Father God, uh, please have a spirit uh, talk through each one of us as we're as we're going over our Bible talk today. I uh, pray that we take on these words uh, for just today and take it through our lives. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Guys, um, we've been covering our Bible talk the last last couple well, the last couple weeks. We've been following line in line with what our church is actually studying. Uh, we're, we're studying a catechism program, and what the catechism program is is to be able to teach people what the church is about, why we do why we do certain things. Actually, the last what six or seven lessons have been about the Ten Commandments, right? And so this week's question is: Can anyone keep the law of God perfectly? Let me ask you first, Philip. Can anybody keep the law perfectly? Nope. Everyone in sin, so like, uh, it would be hard to, but I don't think you can get it all perfectly. How about you, man? What do you think? Okay. You? No. No? No. No. Uh, me for sure. I, I know I have it, you know. I, I know that it's not possible. There's only one person who's done that. Jesus did it, right? <clears throat> Everybody else, the law is like impossible to keep. You know, um, the law says, basically the law condemns us because it says you do all these different things. It's like, you know, like one of the things, one of the uh, laws from last week, right, was the Ninth Commandment. What, does anybody know what that says? Uh, not, uh, she, uh, no. No. Not your fault. What did say? Yeah. 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 Now, do, not, do, not, do not lie or deceive, right? Was it, was it but speak, speak the truth. Speak the truth in love, right? Which is the temple. No. No, you should. You should. Um, you, you, uh, you should. No, you should be content. You should be content and not uh, and not envious of, some, of, of others, right? And accept our position, right? We should. We should never. We should never. Uh, never ever say, "Hey, God, this person has something else," and do that, or you have something going on with you, and you're like, "Man, this is, this, this is terrible." But we're all set in our place in life. But anyway. All those laws are so hard to keep, like the law you just mentioned, the Ninth Commandment. If you lie, right? How many people in here have told lies? All of us have, right? Okay. So what are the wages from that? The wages of sin are, are death, right? God doesn't like sin. So anyway, in the text over here, it says, it says, uh, since the fall, uh, no, uh, no mere human has been able to keep the law of God perfectly. But consistently breaks them in thought, word, and deed. And I run that it says, no man, no mere human has been able to keep it. The law perfectly. It's impossible to keep. And that's kind of that's kind of like a, a scary point. Right? It, if you really think if you really think about it, it's scary. Can you keep that law, right? It's keeping the law. It's like, okay. Should lie, right? Right. The other one is you should covet somebody else's wife, right? And commit adultery. So, have you check out girls at school. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I know you have. Like you checking out Jesus early. Jesus uh, friends yesterday, right? I know, man. You're a guy, right? So you're automatically doing what? <laughs> right. Right. It's a huge law. It's, it's a tough law. I mean, us guys we can joke about it, but it's really true, right? It's like. It's like it's that's something that's part of our nature, our sinful nature, and it's something we fight against every single day. And can we keep that thing perfectly? Because here's what most people do. And I know I'm guilty of this more than anything else. You know what? I'm less sinful than Joey is. <laughs> right? My sins are less than Joey. Yes. Yeah, right? They're all equal. Right? They're all equal, right? And then, I mean, the way society puts it, right? If you murder somebody in our society right now, right, you're considered a real evil person, right? You ought to murder somebody. But what's the difference between that guy and the woman that's cheating on his wife in God's eyes? Same sin, right? Sin is sin. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh, no. Also, I think it's like, oh, he's doing it too. So let me do it also. I'm thinking that, like, oh, yeah. That he's doing it too, right? <laughs> so God can't do that all of us, right? That's not what our thought is. Or, or, or maybe you're thinking in your head, well, you know, I do a bunch of good deeds. I, I give money to the homeless. You know, I take people. I'm a nice person. Who does it do? It's one bad thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, too, yeah. People, people like me, right? So I'm got to be good, right? I'm better than all these other people. God's got to take me. Yeah. In reality, what, what is that true? Right? We're not worthy of any of that stuff. What you doing, man? 
Um, the scripture that it has hooked up here, it says uh, in Romans 3, 10 through 12, none is righteous, no, not, not one. To no one understands, no one seeks for God. All have turned aside, together they have become worthless. So no, no one does good, not even one. And that's a hard thing for anybody to hear. Like nobody's done any good, man. Because our sin does what? It hides us from God's sight. It really does. And what does he say that you have to do in order to be saved? Does anybody know here? Other than Joe. What? To be saved. What do you have to do to be saved? Believe. Okay, well, yeah, that's part of it, but that's, that's only a little part of it. Believe. Believe, believe is demons believe. Demons believe in God. Oh, well, that's, that's part of it, too. Huh? Keep them in your heart? Yeah. But what do you, what do you have to do? It's a hard one. Hard one? You enjoy it? It's a hard one. Alright, Joe. What do we gotta do? Repent. Repent! Yeah! Repent! Repent. Does anyone here know what repenting means? Uh, ask for forgiveness, sir. Well, I gotta ask for forgiveness, but what does it really mean? If I ask for forgiveness, I do the same thing over and over. I mean, am I really, am I really repenting? Like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this. Yeah, you can hail Mary all you want, but the bottom line is, you, are you really repenting? Are you really turning back, turning, turning back? What repenting means, it means a 180 degree turn around <coughs> from where you're at. So something that repents is you can continue doing it over and over, right? Because when you're a kid, right, your parents say, hey, don't do that, right? <laughs> you're like this, mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> right? <laughs> A few hours later, you do it back again. You probably do more of that than anybody else. You got a little brother, right? A little five-year-old brother, right? He's like, I'm sorry, Joey. <laughs> right? No, no, he's back doing it again. I mean, Joey's a good example. If I call Joey on the phone, and his brother answers the phone, I'm like, hey, can I speak to Joey? No. <laughs> I'm like, Joey, are you playing with me? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it's like, <laughs> it's like this going, Jorge, you on Joey's phone? <laughs> no. Hey, I... <laughs> right? <laughs> right? And I'm sure Joey probably told him after I told him that he was on the phone. I told him, hey, don't do that again. But sure enough, I called Joey's phone. Hey, what's up, Joey? All right, <laughs> <laughs> you have Joey's phone? You're not supposed to have his phone. Click. Right? <laughs> right? Is that repenting? <laughs> no, he's young. He doesn't know any better. But us as adults, we, we know better than this, right? We know to repent. You gotta turn. You gotta. You gotta make a hundred eighty degree turn to to change, and that's a that's a hard thing to do because what's easy to do, and here's where most people go wrong. Is and I, I know I've done this before. Is I'm repenting. Hey God, you know, I had a crazy weekend. I partied way too much. Right? I was in the Marine Corps. I partied way too much. Please forgive me. Right? <coughs> please, please forgive me. And then come Thursday night. Do the same thing over again. Am I really repenting? No. That's not a repentant person. The person that's repentant is going to try. Quits it. Quits it. Makes a hundred eighty degree turn and changes. Not like you ever want to go hard. It's a hard. It's a hard. It's a hard concept, man. It really is. It, uh, you know, guys. I, I had the crazy thing that happened to me this past past Sunday. I had, a, I had an ex girlfriend that I used to date before I before I became a Christian. Uh, she called me up. And she called me up early in the morning. She was drunk. She just moved down to uh, Rio, Grande, Rio Grande City from. Is it Rio Grande City? Yeah, it's Rio Grande City. Yeah. yeah. From um, um, from San Antonio, and she's she called me up. Hey, Jeff, blah blah blah. And I was talking to her, and I was like, you know, this was me a few years ago. You know. In the morning. In the morning, day. drunk, kind of. She was crying, and I was like, sitting there, she's like, and nothing's going through, but it just reminded me. That's who I was, and where I've come, and, and, and you know, not to my own horn, it's a change, and it's glory, it's to God's glory that it happened, you know, so I, I think you got to repent, you got to turn away, you know, it's, I, I think we're taught to know by the Holy Spirit what's right and what's wrong, right, and when you know it's wrong, if you're going against that, you're going against God's Spirit, and that's why he gets upset, because he knows that, he knows that, hey, sin is sin, guys, and a lot of people are like, oh, you guys are young. Well, you know what? I'll be good. I'll be good at a, at a later time. I'll wait. I'll wait 
until I graduate from college, right? I'll wait till I get a good job. I'll wait till I have a family, right? But here's the whole entire thing. You don't know what day is going to be your last day. You don't know what day that's going to happen. Because a few years, like, you're 18 right now? At age, at age 18, I was in the Marine Corps, and I was at war. And I didn't know which day was going to be my last day. It could be the very next day, and I lost friends. You don't know. People are dying like this. Get right with God. It'll be the best thing you do because your life. Can we get each for a second as an example? Your life is like this string over here. If this was this is eternity. This little this 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 rope was eternity. My life, little dot at the very end of it, right? I can either live with God or without God for eternity. Like, so I can either get my life straight and glorify him and believe in him and repent and do all the things I need to do, which is a hard thing because the rest of the world is doing what? The rest of the world is telling you, man, Friday night, let's party, right? It, it's time to party. Oh, man. Hey, though. Hey, Joe, did you see that girl, bro? Right? Right? What's the world doing that? Even the girls are like, hey, Joe, hey. What you doing tonight, Joe? Right? Yeah. Right? All that stuff's going on. Let me use Joey as an example, but that's what's happening in most of our lives right now. Stuff's happening, right? And the rest of the world's doing that. You have to take the ability to make it right or not make it right. Right? If you practice the right drills in here for wrestling, have you become a pretty good wrestler? Right? You believe in, okay, this stuff works, I'm going to be a better wrestler. And ultimately, what's going to happen? You're going to get to the max in competition, you're going to do well, right? But if you wait, well, you know what? I'll wait to get good the last week of the season, so I'll be ready. Are you going to be able to pull off all that stuff? No, all the hard work was should have been done beforehand, right? Well, I think the same thing is true with God. If you put all the work right now, and you might think it's a sacrifice, I don't really think of it as that. Because if I'm with God, I'm going to try to do everything, my po everything I possibly can to keep away from my sinful nature. And each one of us has our own obstacles in sinful nature. You know, Each one of us wish, oh man, I wish I had Joey's problems, right? When you talk about being envious, I wish I had Joey's problems. We'll change, right? And they're, really no, they're not any different. The same one, for in God's eyes, are the same sin. So guys, keep on fighting for your sin. Anybody have anything they want to add to this? Girls are hard. Yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Girls are hard. Well, especially you guys today. Yeah, girls are hard, man. <laughs> girls are hard. I mean, for the first time in my life in two years, I haven't had a girlfriend, which has been actually good. <laughs> actually, it's been a great time for me because I've gotten closer to God. I've learned more about myself. And I've actually learned the person I want to spend the rest of my life with is what God's going to end up giving me. Yeah. Right? And I'm not going out going, oh man, is she the right one? Now I've got to spend a load of money on